Curiosity is key for grade school students. Farnsworth Aerospace is a magnet school in St. Paul that really sparks that curiosity. But after 18 years, the school is losing one of its most beloved teachers. We stop by the school that teaches kids that the sky is the limit. Joseph Dames has the story. All the kids and all the teachers have call signs. Yeah, I'm Mukwa. Mukwa means bear in Ojibwe. Apropos for a man who loves the outdoors and teaching cubs of the human kind. I'm a fifth through eight instructor here and aerospace coordinator. David Bear has been teaching for 40 years, 18 of them right here at Farnsworth. I was a baseball coach for a while. Now, Robotics. after the final school bell rings this year, he's retiring. I think it's pretty sad that he's gone. I will miss him. This school has a lot of stories about alumni who've just discovered, oh, you lit my fire. You don't know the impact you make when you're doing it. You have no clue. David loves opening the eyes and possibilities for young minds from all backgrounds. Our Hmong girls don't see some of those possibilities sometimes about life in a technical area or in aviation or in science. So we want to open those doors. So I'm typing K-S-A-N. The kids all go away with a mission patch. They fly in simulators. They act like astronauts. They act like uh, pilots in the military. He cares about his students. Teaching is all about relationship. It is why I went into it in the 1980s. It is all about what uh, feeds the soul. One soul feeding experience was with a particular student. My favorite thing of all 40 years is walking to school with my daughter, hand in hand, fifth and sixth grade. It was just incredible. David leaves Farnsworth hoping he has inspired and sparked future leaders of tomorrow, just as a teacher did for him many years ago. They make me feel like I really, really made a difference. I'm really proud to be a St. Paul public school teacher. Super proud. In St. Paul, Joseph Dames, WCCO News. You might not think it, but boxing is a great fight against Parkinson's disease. Our Rim Clayton took a visit to Title Boxing in Lakeville to check out a class, and they meet those who are fighting back. My phone started ringing when that research came out, and I said, no, we don't have a program. Phone rang again, no, we don't have a program. By the time it rang a third time, we started taking down people's contact information. In demand and doing the job, noticeable immediately after class. Tired, uh, rejuvenated, strengthened, and my meds work better. Nancy Storm has been coming to the Knockout Parkinson's program for four years. The course is designed to slow down the disease with high intensity exercise. <laughs> We're yelling, he's encouraging us, challenging us to get louder and louder. His constant sort of mantra is keep moving. Over 70 people come to the class, some three times a week. Parkinson's tries to take away they, their fight and they show up every day and fight back. More than the healing effects, the group is a community with a shared experience. We can come here and be visible. Sometimes our symptoms make us um, invisible or we're uncomfortable with it, but when we're together in this kind of Parkinson's journey, it really is supportive and helpful. In Lakeville, Ren Clayton, WCCO Sports. That's our show. We hope that it lifted you up, maybe even inspired you to do some good. You can catch more heartwarming stories every week on our Sunday morning show based on positivity. It's from 7 to 8 a.m. on WCCO TV, leading right into CBS Sunday morning. And hey, if you have an uplifting story idea, we love getting your ideas. Submit your story to us at WCCO.com uplift. Thank you so much for being here, friends. We'll see you next week.